Okay, so third part of uh, Microwave Repair Cafe attempt. Uh, I've already tested the diode. I think my culprit now could be the relay, so I'm gonna try to test it real quick. Um, the relay is this thing here. It's mounted on the PCB. It says relay on the side here on the PCB itself, so I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's um, ZW3FF, whatever the hell that means. I have to look it up online. It has some specs here. Uh, 24 VDC, 1Z5, 10 amps, 277... Is that a K? Is that an M? VAC, 277 VAC, 8 amps, 260 VAC. So um, that should say something for people who are electrical engineers. I'm not, so I have no fucking clue what that, any of that means. Anyways, I set this to uh, the um, continuity test. And I heard in some places that you can test the continuity by this. Holding these two places here. And it's giving up a high value. So it seems to be okay-ish, I think. And the other way you're supposed to test is one of these. Not sure if it's the top one or the bottom one with this one. And one of them should have a very low value. And the other one should have no value at all. This one has very low. So I think we're good. And this one stays a 1. So as if there was no contact whatsoever. So I think in that term is correct. But then when I test it with uh, a 9 volt battery, it's supposed to click when you uh, touch both sides of the thing. And I hear no click. Like this is supposed to make it click. But it doesn't. These two also do, do not. You probably can't see anything that I'm doing. I'm going to try to make a better angle. No click. No click. And no click here either. Uh, maybe it's the contacts itself that are not very good. Try to put alligators here. But I tried this already and I know it doesn't work. It just doesn't click. So, which feels very weird. Uh, it might be the battery, I hear you say. So uh, to prove that it's not, I'm going to put it at 20 and just uh, touch these. Negative to negative. This one here. And it's about 9 volts. So the battery is okay, as you can see. So when I touch these alligators on these two clips, it should give a click. Nothing. Other way around. Nothing. So I don't know. Maybe it's the other two. Not sure. Because I... I don't hear any click. The other way around. no click so what people say on the internet is that even when there is a click you still have to measure that uh, the electricity changed between these so you have to keep these two connected which may be hard because these alligators don't grab very well and I hope I get the negative and positive correct okay so this should be powering on. So now these two should be giving a value. Uh, should probably be on, not sure if it's voltage or homes. I think it's low homes. Continuity test probably does the trick. So we'll check this and this. Low value. The other two, nothing. 
try the other way around, but I think on homes it doesn't really matter. So very low value. Let me try to lower the scale, see if I can get an actual value. Still extremely low. So um, I'm not sure what this means. I'm going to disconnect this and check in value again. Still very low. So I think I think it's not switching. That's what I think. Um, I would need a second opinion on this because I'm not sure if it's the relay or not. If I should order another one, because uh, I think uh, the value between these two uh, things uh, should uh, increase once uh, this connection is bridged with the nine volts, but it's not moving. So uh, it could be broken or it could just be me that doesn't understand electrical engineering good enough. So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to send this video to a couple of friends that do electrical engineering stuff as well. Hear their opinions if, it, uh, if it's worth trying to replace this relay or if there's any other additional tests that I can do to confirm if it's uh, broken or not broken. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye everyone. Take care.